watching The 7 from WATE 6 on your side. Good evening, I'm Bo Williams, and welcome to The 7. Let's get a look at the Big 7 stories right now. Weather is at the top of that list. Not just the forecast, but the impact as well. Uh, count yourself lucky if you've seen just rain today. There is damage to see all across the area. Take a look here. Newport Grammar School, for example. Viewer Bonnie Webster sending in this picture showing a section of roof torn off. Because of that, Newport Grammar School will be closed until Monday. Whether it's today's weather or what's yet to come, we've got more school closings for you. Blunt County, Claiborne County Schools, Cott County Schools, Sevier County Schools all closed tomorrow. Granger County Schools and Lee County Virginia Schools will be operating on a two-hour delay. Now, another big seven story for you that we're following, getting a look at the experience of riding out the storm. Take a look. You can see the rain coming down sideways because of those strong winds. This video taken by Jerry DeJong out in Dandridge at one of the marinas on Douglas Lake. The rain coming down in sheets to a point where you can no longer see the docks. But that's just how rough it was at points today. Now, another big theme coming out of the storms, down trees in a lot of places. We found plenty of examples like these over on Smith Lane in Knoxville where a tree blew over onto a home. Our crew also found tree branches scattered out in the roadway. As a matter of fact, one neighbor was watching from her sunroom when she noticed something was going on next door. And out of the corner of my eye, because I've been watching these trees swaying, but out of the corner of my eye, I saw this big one just fall. And, you know, I thought, oh my goodness, I didn't know what to do. I called KUB first because the power went off. So I called KUB and told them we had lines down. More down trees, this time in Loudon. Take a look at this big tree along Summer Street. Uh, it uh, really left no path to drive around. It even uh, pulled some power lines down with it. Really made driving and getting around that area tough. And then on Mason Lane, down trees were spotted on people's properties with debris strewn throughout the yard. So a lot of mess to clean up. Another Big 7 story coming out of the storm for you. Further to the south, we're getting an aerial view of storm damage. Our ABC affiliate from Chattanooga, WTBC, sharing this drone video. This is out of Meigs County. Take a look for a second. They're reporting one injury in that area, but no deaths. Uh, you can see a substantial amount of damage, including an RV blown onto its side. That storm prompting Madisonville and neighboring Monroe County to activate its emergency sirens as a precaution. The National Weather Service is discussing plans to potentially send a damage survey team to this area south of Decatur and up to Jefferson County near Douglas Lake. For other areas, the storm was mainly just heavy rain. A lot of you are probably caught out in it, causing water to pond on those roadways. Up in Oak Ridge, the storm brought some small pea sized hail. This video taken out in front of the Oak Ridge Animal Shelter, and you can see the small hail bouncing off the sidewalk as you look closely there, mixed in with the downpour. Our next Big 7 story for you, the weather to come. And Ken, I know you're also talking some cooler temperatures. Bo, spring today, winter tomorrow, and less than 24 hours ago from severe storms to snow opportunities. Still seeing some heavy rainfall coming across the plateau. It's kind of moving south and east, so especially Roan County southward, Ray, Meggs, Bledsoe, McMinn, Monroe, you're kind of on tap for this. It'll weaken as it moves eastward, but there's quite a bit of lightning, 26 strikes within this field. Not severe, but there could be some very small hail in that as well. We're watching a line of weakening rainfall make its way through severe. Uh, Eastward in two portions of Cott County as well, and we just have some light to moderate rain in and around Knox County. There's that line of heavy rainfall south of I-40 from Newport back down into the Gatlinburg area. So let's talk about the timing. Again, this little gasp of showers, the last bit is moving eastward. The one I showed you that's still between Nashville and Crossville slides east this evening by 9, weakens, and then by the time we join you again at 11 o'clock tonight through midnight, we're already starting to see that changeover in some of those higher peaks of the Smokies. Temperatures by daybreak. We're still above freezing here in the valley, most areas mid to upper 40s, but we're very close for the plateau and well below freezing into the Smokies for tomorrow. So kind of the Knoxville area forecast, what we're looking at is a bit of a rain snow mix and 39. If you see accumulations, it's mainly grassy surfaces and then melts once it stops, but Bo, there'll be other areas that get a lot of snow. I'll tell you where coming up. All right, we'll be checking back with you shortly then, Ken. Thank you. A return to pre-pandemic times is our next big story. After being over 
open by appointment only since the beginning of COVID. The Oak Ridge Animal Shelter is finally now back open with zero restrictions on who can come in and when. The shelter housing more than a dozen dogs and cats has been operating by appointment only for the last few years, but that all changed today. Take a look at some of the sweet faces that you can see and possibly adopt there. This is Kino. Um, I'm not real sure how old he is. I know he's a senior dog. He is fairly new here, um, as sweet as can be. He's looking for a home, and uh, he's falling in love with one or two of you here. And, um, but look at that face. Just, he's just precious. He's a good looking dog. The shelter's normal hours will be Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And there are plenty of ways to get involved as a volunteer. If you would like to adopt a pet from the Oak Ridge Animal Shelter, you can head to their building on Belgrade Road or head to the nonprofit's website, animalshelter.oakridgetn.gov, to see which pets are available. Next up on the Big 7 list for you, a better look at change coming just north of downtown Knoxville. An iconic Fifth Avenue building is getting a major overhaul. The Mac Auto Loans building has been recently demolished with plans of a new structure going up in its place. Now, we're told the big sign, you usually see, there it is, when you drive down the street will remain and efforts to use the naming rights are currently being made. That new name will be Mac on Fifth paying homage to its Mac Auto Loans predecessor. And this new project will have some unique features. So the new building is going to be 144 apartment units, um, 10 of which on the ground floor are going to be live-work units where entrepreneurs can grow their businesses and also have a place to live um, with a nice apartment unit in the back. Project will cost over $40 million, and the apartment building is set to open up in 2024.